I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I cannot be defeated and I will not quit. Welcome to Rama Praise, a worldwide broadcast bringing hope, help, and healing for over 25 years from Kenneth Hagen Ministries and Rama Bible Church in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And now, here are your hosts, Pastors Kenneth and Lynette Hagen. Hello, and welcome to Rama Praise. You know, hon, this is a special weekend. Yes, it is. It, this is. International Rhema Day, which is we on Sunday, which is this weekend. Yes, and you know, actually, it's it's a, something that we've had for a number of years now, mm -hmm. and that's where somebody prays for Rhema, and then they send in an offering, whatever they can. Yes, and uh, you know, we have it's help it's helping us reach the world. You know, honey, so many times we don't tell people, our partners especially, yeah. what all we're doing. Right. We just do it and we're so busy doing it that we yeah. are remiss in telling people about it. Right. <laughs> we, we have 298 campuses in 56 nations, yes. Rainbow Bible Colleges. Uh, we've graduated over 119,000 worldwide. And yes. right, right here from the U.S. is 29,000 29, of those. Yes. And so it's uh, actually here at the at the U.S. campus, you know, not, not everybody's in, in session at, at the same, same time. time. Yes. Uh, on May 17th, we'll conduct our 50th graduating class. Can from, you believe that from no, Raymond Bible Training College? No, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't. I remember when I started in 1974 with 58 yes. students. Yes. You know, actually talking about uh, International Rhema Day, uh, you can give any time, but this is a special, we make a special effort, but if you'll just go to rhema.org forward slash IRD and, yes. uh, and you can give anytime. And like I said, this is a special day, but we'd ask that you pray for Rhema every day. But this is a special day we set aside to pray for, for the Rhema the schools, the yes. staff, and, and everything. And, you and know, support honey, Rhema financially yeah. with a special gift, whatever you can afford. Churches are doing it, individuals yes. are doing it, businesses are doing it. And so it's all there for you. Now, you know, today I'm talking on a subject called the secret of success. So why don't we go where I am talking about that right now. The secret of success. You know, in the world we live in today, there are many offers coming around and, and uh, you know, they sound, you know, you get something for nothing and uh, you don't pay anything. Well, I've never seen anything that was worth anything that didn't cost something. Maybe if it didn't cost financial, it cost you in labor of <laughs> labor or whatever. And, you know, life is, that doesn't work that way. Life is what you put into it, is what you get out. If you ask people who have achieved great things in life what their secret is, they would say, simply work hard. In other words, apply yourself to the task, whatever it may be. You know, most of us have heard the slogan, just do it. That's the Nike slogan. And it was in designed to encourage people to buy the product. But many, many people, and especially athletes, took that statement to encourage them to accomplish something. Just do it no matter how hard it is. You know, I have never seen a spectator get a trophy yet. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people, including myself, that have applied myself and worked hard and went on the field and played the game, get the trophy. You know, people sitting in the grandstands don't get no trophies. Come on now, don't look at me like that. It's the truth. When I was running track in high school, 
I would run, I, the rest of the team would go into the shower locker room and I would stay out and I would run extra 220s. And, but that enabled me, when the time at the state track meet, that enabled me to have that little bit of extra. It took some hard work, but it paid off in the end. You know, little story. A professor in college was talking about different company slogans, slogans and what it, they meant and so forth and so on. And so he asked one guy, he said, which company has the slogan, fly, fly the friendly skies? And, of course, the guy answered with the correct airline. He asked a, a young lady, he says, what company has the slogan, don't leave home without it? And, of course, they answered with the correct credit card company. And then he said, hey, John, tell me who has the slogan, just do it. And John immediately an answered, Mom. <laughs> of course, now I don't know about you, you ladies, but none of us guys have never heard Mom say, just do it, have we? hundred times maybe. <laughs> Deuteronomy 28, 8 through 12 in the NLT says, the Lord will guarantee a blessing on everything you do and will fill your storehouse with grain. The Lord, your God, will bless you in the land he's given you. If you obey the commands of the Lord, your God, and walk in his ways, the Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he swore he would do. Then all the nations of the world will see that you are, are, you are a people claimed by the Lord and they will stand in awe of you. The Lord will give you prosperity in the land. He swore to your ancestors to give you blessings with many children, numerous livestock, abundant crops. The Lord will send rain at the proper time his rich, from his rich treasury in heavens and will bless all the work you do, work you do. Get that word work. You will lend to many nations, but you will never need to borrow from them. And James 1, 22 says, But be you doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving yourself. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror, for he observes himself, he observes himself, goes away, immediately forgets what kind of man he was or person. But he looks into the perfect law of liberty and and continues in it, is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work. This one will be blessed in what he does. Now I want to read that in the NLT. But don't just listen to God's word. You must do what he says. Otherwise, you're only fooling yourself. For if you listen to the word and don't obey it, it's like glancing at your face in the mirror. You see yourself, walk away, and forget what you look like. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says and don't forget what you heard, then God will bless you. Now you can see here that God's idea is that he wants us to do something. Sometimes we call it work. I mean, you know, in fact, in that one, it says work, as we were reading it to you there. His blessing comes from doing what he said. In fact, God said, actually, work is an avenue where the blessings can come to you. See, real faith acts or works on God's word. You know, tonight, I want you to realize the value of doing something, whether it's spiritual or natural. It's vital that we do what the Word says, and it's vital that we do what is necessary in the natural to receive the blessings that come to us on the natural side. You know, the secret of success will not work unless you work it. Proverbs 14, 23. Work brings profit, but mere talk leads to poverty. The message says it this way. 
Hard work pays off. Mere talk puts no bread on the table. <laughs> the voice says it this way. Prosperity comes from hard work, but talking too much leads to great scarcity. The word work, labor, toil are not minor issues in the Bible. In fact, those words are used about 500 times in the Bible. Now, you start talking about work and people start, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I've never got anything that I didn't put some effort in and work for it. That's on the athletic field. That's studying the Word of God. That's doing messages. Come on now. You know, you can't fulfill your destiny. You have to work at it. Just talking about it doesn't get you there. You know, anybody ever heard of a guy by the name of Henry David Thoreau? David Throw? I heard about him in school. I don't know whether they still talk about him or not. How many of y'all heard about him in school? He said this, if you have built your castles in the air, your work need not be lost. That is, that is where they should be. Now put the foundation under them. If you're going to build anything, it's got to have a foundation. Thomas Edison said this, opportunity is, met, is missed by most people because it's dressed in overalls and looks like work. Now, he made that statement back when most of the people that worked, they wore overalls. Anybody, anybody here ever wear overalls? I used to as a kid. I wore overalls. You know, Shakespeare, John, John Mason quotes him in his book, Conquering, Conquering the Enemy, Enemy Called Average. You know, I never did. And I like that book because... I don't like second place. I like to win. But Shakespeare said, nothing can come of nothing. You know, people are always asking the Lord to bless them, but they're not giving him anything to work with. I used to hear my dad say, you know, people want, to, want a financial blessing. They want a spiritual blessing, but they're not giving anything to for God to work with. In other words, you're supposed to give in the offerings and then you're supposed to get in the Word and study the Word. Come on now. I better go on now. I can see I'm losing the crowd. I got to go on now. <laughs> you know, Raymond just didn't happen. Now, it was God's idea. He told Dad. Dad said, you do it. But it's, it's here because I was willing to commit to the hard work and to do whatever was necessary for it to become a success. You know, as I worked hard. and But there were many miracles and supernatural things that God did, but they would have never come to pass if I hadn't have done my part. Have you ever noticed as you read the Word of God the Word of God talks about if you do this, then he will do this. Anybody ever notice that reading the Bible? Thank God 25 of you have anyway. <laughs> I hope the rest of you realize that. You know, the only place to start is where you are. 2 John 1.8 Watch out that you do not lose what we've worked so hard to achieve. Be diligent so that you receive your full reward. Now looking at the context of this scripture, it, it's telling us don't get deceived by false teachings, but that applies both on the spiritual side and on the natural side. Spiritually, don't let anyone talk you out of the faith that you've worked so hard to get there where you're at now. Don't let somebody come by telling you something different. Paul said, if anybody comes teaching that something different than I, than I have taught, forget about it. Even if I come back teaching it, you forget it. 
Didn't he say that? Yeah. Naturally, don't let somebody talk to you about letting go of a good, solid, stable job and go chasing after uh, that that's like trying to find gold, find the gold at the end of the rainbow. Many times, and I've talked to a lot of people, and they come to me and they talk to me about, well, I got this offer and blah, 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 blah. And I've told some of them, hey, stay where you're at. You know, it sounded good, but I don't know. I, I just, I just, I just didn't. It didn't ring t true to me. And and there are people that are under my under my leadership, and I told them to stay where they're at. Even some of them are sitting right here in this in this audience. You know, the starting point is not with what you don't have but what you do have. That you're starting spiritually and naturally. All of us through the years have developed spiritually, but we didn't start where we are now. Come on. You know, I heard Dad tell this story many times. Jordan Mueller had opened an orphanage years and years ago in the 1800s, I think it was, and or the early 1900s, I don't know, in England. And he said, you know, it's just, it's just as easy for me to believe for $500 or $5,000, I forget which it was, today as it was for me to believe for $1 back then. Because he started where he was at. Start where you're at. You know, some people, and I heard, and I learned this from my dad, and I learned it from myself. I've had to do it. You got to start believing God with the faith you got. You start believing God with the faith you got, you'll find out that that faith will increase. Come on. You know, some people say, well, I can't do it because I don't have this or I don't have that. Well, wait a minute. Once again, John Mason, quoting another person, says, the question for each person to settle is not what he would do if he had the means, the time, the influence, the edu education advantage, and advantages, but what will they do with the things they have? You know, I had a guy tell me one time, he said, well... If I, if I had it, I'd give $100 in this offering that they was taking. And, of course, y'all don't know me. Sometimes I probably should keep my mouth shut, but this time I didn't. I said, no, you wouldn't because you didn't give the dollar you got in your pocket. Hey, that's... Uh, you know, I hear, I've heard people through the years say stuff like that. Well, I would do this... If if I had it, I said no, and they wouldn't either because they're not doing with, they're not working with what they've got. That's just somebody trying to ease their conscience. You know, if you're waiting waiting for the perfect and ideal situation before you start something, you're never going to get there. Come on, spiritually or naturally. We have to start where we are. You know, I've talked to people and the reason, and they, I ask them, well, why, why aren't you working? There, there's plenty of jobs available. Well, yeah, I know, but it doesn't pay enough. <laughs> and this has been years ago, but I told a Rhema student that, sat, standing right out there in front of STC1, he couldn't pay his bill. You know, he's a tuition. And I said, well, there's all kinds of jobs available. Oh, I know, I know, but they don't pay enough. And I looked at him and I said, well, something's better than nothing. Isn't it funny how some, how some people think? Some people do that on the spiritual side too. Well, if I had the faith of so-and-so, I'd, I'd be in better shape too. Well, 
You know how they got that faith? By getting in the Word of God and putting a little, little work into it. I trust you listened to what I had to say about the secret of success. The same secrets of success in the natural and the supernatural are the same. It takes a lot of effort, yes. a lot of prayer, a whole lot, just a whole lot of things goes into being a success. But the Bible wants us to be successful in both areas of our life, naturally and spiritually. So if you got a hold of that, it'll help you. Well, talking about being a success, we have a special offer this month. Yeah. Uh, it, this is a CD by your dad, and it's called The Secret of My Success. Yes. Uh, yeah, and yeah, I know one of the secrets of his success. He did never hold grudges. He always was quick to forgive. Yeah. Yes. yes. And, and forget. And to forget, yes. You know, um, the, these are time, we call them timeless teachings. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, he's been gone to heaven for 20 years now, but, but uh, this, uh, these, we go back and we try to find some things that, that has been, hadn't been published or, right. or been talked about. So yes. that's what this is, The Secret of My Success, a great picture of him kneeling it and is. praying right there. And your book, Expect. You know, it's important that we expect. Yes. I did a series back in, I think it was 2016, mm -hmm. I think it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's when it was copyrighted. Uh, on it, it, I called it the Expect series. Yes. And from that, they took my messages and they put it into a book. And so these are these are are some very interesting things. And you know, uh, here's a gratitude journal that I got in the back of it. And day one, day two, day three, uh, I, I talk. It talks about this. So. It, to me, this is really a, a, a book that, of course, I never write any of my books. They're all taken from my messages from that I preach yes. and from my teaching and ministry. Yes. And this is one that I, I think was, was very, 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 very good. And, and you know, uh, but you have to expect if you're going to receive anything. You have to expect it. And, uh, you know... <laughs> Good or bad, you'll have what you expect. That's right. <laughs> you know, and, and there's about, uh, there's uh, what, six different chapters in here, and uh, nothing's too big for God. Everything is subject to change. Did you ask? Finishing what you started, possessing God's promises, and of course, the one I, the first chapter I just said it, good or bad, you'll have what you expect. So that's right. That's there. Uh, and then you and have, my devotional. Yeah, you, actually, I want you to talk about okay. that. Is a great devotional. And actually, it's a little different than most devotionals because it's a it's a devotion for uh, one week. Yeah. You actually meditate on one area for a whole week. You know, sometimes we need things over yeah, they, and over. Sometimes they have a daily uh, uh -huh. daily devotional, but this you devo this is one you stay with for a for whole, a whole think week. about it for a whole week. That's right. Like here week 5, choose to live victoriously. Yes. And you know, it just so many and times And then at the end of the chapter you you have yes. some things you can write, write down your thoughts for, for the, the week, week. Uh -huh. that you you thought about as you were meditating on those That's things. That's right. Uh, one here says every day can be good. And you know, we just need to meditate on the Word That's right. over and over and over again. So yes. uh, this is Seed Thoughts Devotional Encouragement um, for our lives. And all of these are for a gift of $25 or more. Yeah, just go to rhema.org and Order them right now. They'll be shipped right out to you. Well, talking about, you know, Raymond Bible Training College, yeah. we will be graduating our 50th graduation class right here on the campus Friday, May the 17th at 7 p.m. Yeah. And, you know, uh, it's going to be a special time. Uh, 50 years, that's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah that is. Uh, but, you know, if you can come, that would be great. But if you can't come, it's going to be live streamed. Um, it's going to be on YouTube. It's going to be on uh, it's uh, RBTC USA, uh, on Facebook, Facebook. Uh, on, uh, on Rumble, a uh, yeah. different TV and also on our app, Rama USA app. That's right. That's right. And, you know, we're talking about 
International Rhema Day. Yeah, we talked about it at the at beginning, beginning of the program. Yes. Well, one of the things that I just want you to know is that we keep our tuition very, very low. Yes. $3,150, I believe it is, uh, for a student to, to train here on and a that year. that includes books and every, general activity fee. fees, all kinds of things. But that only covers 30% of what it costs to train a student. And so the other 70% is made up by this day, International Rhema Day, uh, by our monthly word partners uh, that help, by our events. That's how we cover and then, the And in our 70%. Living Faith Conferences, we yes. have one day that is Rhema Day, and we take the offering and it come back to help the That's students. Right. So we invite you to participate um, on Sunday, May the 5th, or any time during the year. Uh, you can just go to rhema.org slash IRD. Yeah, well, it's about time to get out of here, I think. That's right. <laughs> hey, we are so glad you watched today. And I believe that what we said in the message about su being successful will benefit you if you will put into yes. practice what I was talking about. And we want to thank all of you that are our partners for helping us to bring hope, hope help, help, and, and healing, healing to, to the, the world. world. Let me speak to your hearts for just a moment. I would like to give you an opportunity to know Jesus Christ. It's a very simple thing. All you have to do is repeat this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Jesus. I thank you that he died for my sin. I thank you that if I confess that with my mouth and believe in my heart, I shall be saved. Thank you. I'm a new person in Christ. Amen. The secret to a successful apostolic ministry full of faith and power are the Holy Ghost. We will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the Word. We'll give ourselves continually this. The Secret of My Success, a timeless teaching audio CD by Kenneth E. Hagan. We can live in expectant faith. Expect an anointed book by Kenneth W. Hagan. Plus, the Seed Thoughts devotional by Lynette Hagan. Let these words sink deep into your spirit and watch them begin to produce fruit. Both books and the CD can be yours today for a gift of only $25 or more by calling toll-free 1-888-PRAISE-8 or log on anytime, day or night, to order at rhema.org. For Canadian orders, log on at rhemacanada.org. Do it today. Thank you for watching Rhema Praise with Kenneth and Lynette Hagan. Kenneth, Lynette, and Rhema Bible Training College are committed to reaching the entire world with the gospel of Jesus Christ and training laborers for the end time harvest. If you have prayer requests or would like more information about Rhema, please call, write, or visit rhema.org. Thank you for being with us today and for your faithful support. And remember, there is hope help and healing for a hurting world.